The future is stabbing yourself and the future is awesome. Hey, Miss Pally, I'm Allie, and did you know you have two different ages? So your chronological age is the one that you know. When you're born, the universe hits start on the clock, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. And the other one is harder to know. It's your biological age, and that's a measure of how functioning your body is. And you have control over that. If you want to get younger, maybe sleep better. And if you want to get older, Doritos. Now, this box is going to tell me my biological age and specific things for me to do to get younger. Let's go! I'm going in reverse, get it? <laughs> Chronologically older Allie cutting in here because I got my hands on a second company's test, so stay tuned to compare the two, it's really interesting. It's now two days later because I shot that intro and then read for best results due Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. And we always do optimal on this channel. Okay, looks like I need an app. Ooh, futuristic. Connecting all to Apple Health, I trust you. See, now they wanna know my chronological age. I have to match. Oh, there we go, Tasso. Show me how to do this. Find a comfortable spot to collect Three minutes. Samples. Make sure you collect and return the sample the same day. It should take 15 minutes to collect and package your sample. It's you complex. may also need a small mirror to help see the collection in progress. You'll Just need use a my LCD to screen. Your name and collection date. You may need a razor to remove any excess hair from the test site. I mean, I'm Italian, but I think I'll be okay. Start by washing your hands. Open the protective package from the corner and remove the device. Twist to remove the tube cap and insert the tube into the device by pressing until snug. I don't Activate see a heat pack. Supplied heat pack. Oh no. Put two minutes on your timer. Or rub side okay. with hand to increase oh. blood flow. Shouldn't do that side. Warm the site for two minutes. Remove the plastic button cover. <laughs> the future is crazy. In case you're curious, this is not scary. They don't even let you see the needle. I'm pretty confident there's a needle in there though. I hope having giant delts helps, because I do. Put the red button down and release. Begin your five minute timer. Okay, three, two, one, blood. Yeah, that didn't feel like anything. Maybe a little burning now. Okay, hold on, I gotta start a timer. Anything coming out? Did I push hard enough? It may take one to two minutes before blood appears. Oh wow, okay. Do not press the button more than once. <laughs> I almost did. If blood reaches the top fill line before the five minute mark, you may remove the device. Look at my timer again. Nope, didn't start for some reason. <laughs> Nothing, am I empty? <laughs> I'm trying to flex myself, blood. It's been two minutes. Can we just prove that I'm not human? Oh, there we go. A drop. Maybe should have rubbed my arm more. Who needs a mirror when you can film yourself? Man, that is slow. Excuse me. There's 13 seconds left, come on. But if it doesn't reach the fill line after the five minute mark, do I just stop? I filled the bottom line. I guess it'll be fine. I feel like I'm milking my arm. That's probably good enough, right? We're gonna find out. Yep. <laughs> Yo, stay in there. Okay, on three, four. Was that gentle? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's decently full, right? And they gave me a little band-aid. I don't know why there's no Wally Pop. Sweet. Now I just gotta get my biohazard in the mail. Like we haven't done this a ton on my channel. And I appreciate that they give an envelope that also has a prepaid label already on it because I've done this with other companies where they don't give you either of those and that sucks. Can't wait to know how old I am. I feel like figuring that out added years to my life. Record the sample collection time and date on the return pad. Uh, and I forgot to do that. There's nothing for me to fill out. Oh, the info's on the tube. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna get this just fine. Okay, great, good. I think my DNA is gonna get to the right person and they're going to know that it's mine. <gasps> I just got an email that my age rate results are ready. Open the age rate app. I can't wait to hear that I'm 16. Accelerated? I'm 41 and four months. Eh, I feel 16. See, this is why I got even started on my biohacking journey is because I was feeling awesome and then I got a blood test that said my cholesterol was super high. So I learned that you can't trust what you feel and you should do lots of tests to learn stuff like this. Okay, and then they give me more scores. They're breakdowns of how I'm doing in a bunch of different categories. Let's look at all of these individually. Immune health. 26 out of 100, that is an F minus, 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 minus. I should be sick right now. Am I sick right now? Uh, in a room of 100 people, <laughs> a whole bunch of them would be way better immunized than me. So I have an imbalance in my immune system and I have increased susceptibility to infections and chronic diseases. Eesh. I need to balance out my immune cells. Let's just toggle this over to science. I, w I want a science about why I'm so bad. The neutrophil to lymphocyte ratio in my body is critical and critically bad. The score combines information across 350 DNA methylation sites to determine my balance sucks. How to improve. First suggestion, follow this specific prudent diet. 
Second, consume less red meat. Do they know I'm vegan? Third, supplement with vitamin D. Do they know I live in LA? Fourth, limit alcohol consumption. Okay, they know me. Engage in exercise. I mean, I'm crushing that and avoiding smoking. Okay, let's look at the other biomarkers. Chronic inflammation above 95. This feels great. This is what I actually didn't expect. I've had really high high sensitivity high sensitivity C -re high sensitivity C reactive protein readings on this channel from my blood in the past. So I thought I was chronically inflamed and this is saying the exact opposite. It's really helpful to debunk what I'm just thinking with actual numbers. My metabolic health is average. Again, they compare me to 100 people. It does put things in perspective. 100, optimize your BMI. Okay, this is interesting because I do have a high BMI, but BMI is a really difficult thing to trust because I have a lot of muscle and it's showing that I weigh a lot so they're not assuming that it might not be fat. Meaning BMI is less reliable for athletes. And 397 DNA methylation sites that have been identified as markers in adiposity, adiposity in a large Okay, lots of people study. So it sounds like I have a predisposition to put on excess body fat if I don't keep up with it. But keeping up with it means optimizing your glucose, lowering your cholesterol, we already talked about that. Chewing your food more. Chew food slowly. Strength training exercises, all right. Enhance your motivation. They don't know me. I need zero motivation. I'm overflowing with it. Tobacco smoke exposure. Crazy that I get any, but I guess being anywhere outdoors near people tobacco smoking. You can't smoke indoors here, and I am not a smoker, but they still say it's great. And cognitive resilience is great. I'm gonna be super smart into old age, just really sick. Telomere health. This is super interesting. Telomeres are the ends of your DNA, think of them like the little plastic thing on your shoelaces and it keeps your DNA from unraveling and they get shorter and shorter the older you get. And the longer your telomeres are, the more young you are biologically. And so cool to know that mine are pretty long. Optimally long, thank you. But also interesting to learn that these are things I can do to make my telomeres longer. Alpha carotene intake, alpha tuck ferrol intake, beta carotene intake. Optimize your BMI again. Higher education? Hmm. Optimize your income levels. <laughs> Make more money and you'll live longer. Increase your walking pace. I've heard this too. There's a direct correlation between how fast you naturally walk and how long you're gonna live. Balanced diet benefit. Sweet. So my diet quality is up there. Maybe I shouldn't switch to the diet that they suggested. Really, it looks like I'm just <sighs> sucking at immune health, which is making me super old. Seeing this accelerated ugh, is such a blow. I want a second opinion. Since clearly this kind of science is opinion based, let's see what True Diagnostic has to say. Elegant unboxing. Yep, there's more. This is, oh, the typical spot thing. We've seen this before on my channel. You just feel a spot with your blood. Where's the spot? In here is the blood spot card that I was talking about. No, nope, just kidding, it's this little thing. That's it, I gotta cover that. In my inside liquid. My hands have been cleaned. I'm now using the alcohol prep pad. Do a little warm up. <laughs> Braxton, this is important. I gotta get the blood to my hands. These things have the stabby thing inside. Just place it on and push down. Get. Ow. These ones hurt more than the ones you use for blood glucose and ketones because it's a slice. It's a much bigger hole because you got to get a lot more blood. And you drip it on without touching your finger to the pad. Just milk your finger till you're done. And they have this insert about don't do it wrong, probably because a bunch of people have done it wrong. And I would be doing this wrong, except I've done it so much that I'm good at it now. <laughs> The first time was a massacre. <laughs> These type of at-home blood tests seem to be much more common now. At least for biohackers like me. My mom has probably stopped watching by now, but if you're not, mom, look away, I'm giving a close-up. Let's let the blood bloop on. It's like vampire coloring by numbers. Oh, I missed. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Like I don't have an art degree. Now they give you a second lancet, but we don't need it. We're good enough with one hole. And no matter how much this looks like a struggle, it is a bajillion times better than putting a shirt on and leaving my house and going to see a human person to help me do this at a doctor's office. The future is stabbing yourself and the future is awesome. Come on, we're so close. I don't want to stab myself again. <sighs> my hands are cold now. <sighs> and crazy you get to see a video that spans my old place to my new place. Both of these companies take a couple weeks to process, if not more. So that seems pretty typical for something like this. Yeah. Sufficiently Rothkowd this. I feel like I should show you a Rothkowd painting. Yeah, there we go. Gave me a little band-aid, which I just recently learned 
may have forever chemicals in them and you shouldn't use them. I don't know. Maybe don't trust my health and fitness channel that I'm putting this on. I'm putting PFAS directly into a wound. I'm gonna do the research, I'll get back to you. Cover this up, I'll get it labeled and into the mail. Oh, I just realized I didn't read any of the directions. Oh, let this air dry completely, got it. We'll just leave my blood on the kitchen table, that's fine. Christine, don't bother my blood. My blood has to dry for at least three hours. No, that's not right. You also need the biohazard bag. It's fine. This is not a tutorial. You can figure that out yourself. We just want to see the results. Oh, this is funny. If you don't put it in the biohazard bag, and they're gonna charge you more. I guess people <laughs> have been doing that, and they're like, stop. Gross. This is dry. You can close that up, put it in here, and then into here, and drop your biohazard into the mail. I want to register my kit, and I realize there's more. They want to know my height, weight, sex. If I was fasting, I could have been fasting. I wasn't. Although it didn't suggest that, even though I didn't read the instructions. Now it's asking me from a huge list of supplements. How many have I taken in the past three months? Um, I think there's magnesium in my beam. I don't know. Dosage value? I don't know. They're asking if I do anti-aging interventions. You should know by my blood, right? So this is interesting, NAD therapy. I am doing that for an upcoming video, so stay tuned. Obviously, I'm very obsessed with longevity. Have I been diagnosed with anything? I mean, yes, I had COVID. Do they want to know that? I don't have it now. Bone and muscular health, neurophysiological. So they're just asking me if I'm sick or not. Gonna look at my blood probably. This really long list of bad things that could happen to you is making me feel very grateful <laughs> that I'm happy and healthy. Oh, I have to say none for all of, okay. There's more. Do I strength train? This is complex. One hour later. Okay, now you have a lot of information on me, true diagnostic and my DNA. Let's go. <laughs> Your true age results are in. Now here is what I wanted to see. Telomere length, 28.07 years old. <gasps> Does this flex make my telomeres look long? That puts me in the 90th percentile. And if they were to strictly use this measurement, that's really great. This used to be one of the best ways to measure your age, but now there are other ways. So moving on, we have pace of aging, which is 0.82 for every year. That's lower. The lowest they've seen is 0.6. So I feel pretty darn good about this too. Look at me all hanging out with that turtle. It is cool to know that moving forward in time, I am getting less old than I should be. And then there is extrinsic epigenetic age and I am 17.55. That is 22.7 years younger than I should be. How freaking cool. Oh, except the intrinsic epigenetic age, I am 40. 24.24, that's almost five years older than my chronological age. So this is just the summary report, which gives a bunch of different measures, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six different separate reports that are even more extensive. Okay, this measure that they developed with Harvard says I'm 41.8 years old. So that is 2.49 years older than my chronological age, I hate that. And much more aligned with the first test that I did. There's a ton of information on my immune health. This CD4 T cell ratio, and then immunosenescence ratio. And then my fitness age, which is the most shocking. I am older than my calendar age. My walking speed is great. My grip strength is great. Here's where I'm screwing myself. Look at this guy, it's out of breath. My VO2 max should be a lot higher, and I know exactly why. I've been bulking for over a year, and I stopped doing basically any cardio. And I'm now planning on doing a video where I just dedicate myself to improving my VO2 max. Let me know if you would want to see that. And just this one report has so much information based on my blood markers, which there's a whole lot I need to dive into and research and change my habits to improve and come back testing three months from now and be younger. We had the co-founder of True Diagnostic on Total Fit Heads podcast, and it was awesome hearing straight from her about all of this and how testing your epigenetics will be and is a paradigm shift in health and fitness. I'll put that video down there for you. And Total Fit Heads now has a brand new channel, so you should also subscribe because we have lots more outrageous fitness conversations for you and you will love being a fit head. First, can you just tell us base level, what is epigenetics? Yeah, epigenetics is, um, you know, an, an interesting buzzword nowadays that I think it's maybe thrown around or misused uh, as sometimes.